I regret to inform you that the last One Piece reaction has been taken down. Not be no copyright strikes, don't worry. Uh, if you don't know why that channel it got taken down, it's just apparently Toei stamped it. Even though I edit it down and I do what I usually do, I guess I'll have to do something else or do the same thing, but just maybe lower the visual because it was a visual uh, copyright uh, takedown. So no strikes, just the episode's gone now. It got blocked all over the country, all over the world. So it is what it is there. At least last week wasn't a crazy episode. Like It was more like Komurasaki showing how much of a boss ass bitch she was. So... At least it wasn't too much. At least, at least it wasn't like, you know, the like Kaido Luffy episode or like, you know, like the Soba Mask episode. But we're here now, episode 928. So as per usual, I would lower the audio, lower the visuals to hopefully avoid copyright stuff. And let's get into it. Hey, at least we could relive this badass Kyoshiro episode or moment. Like, Kyoshiro is fucking going crazy. I like how we changed the entire environment to like fit around him. You know how, like, Zebra from Toriko would like, get to adapt to me? That's what it feels like from Kyoshiro. Also, Komuro Saki looks, like, not... I know she's in danger if she's being bit by a giant Hydra. Or the, uh, you know, whatever. But she looks so funny, because, like, the way the art is for her, she looks like a fucking rag doll. Just, like, <laughs> she's just like, ah! Interesting how the Oni Wabanshi just basically don't give a shit about the Shogun because he's free, like they said, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. Because they work for him. Oh, there goes Brooke gonna save the day. Can we just appreciate how clutch Brooke has been the, in, in Whole Cake Island and now here? Like, he's been, he's been amazing. Like, out of all the, like, aside from the main, like, I would say four or five Straw Hats, like, you know, I would say, like, the, the low tier group of the straw hats are like the people that like don't get as much shine. Uh, low tier doesn't really mean like they're bad or anything. Like I would put like Robin, Frankie, Brooke, whatever. Because while they're cool and they're all dope, we all love the straw hats. They don't really get as much time to shine. But I would say that Brooke, post time skip, has gotten so much love. I know he didn't like it wasn't really to Whole Cake Island, but he shines, bro. Out of all of them, aside from Luffy. He was the only one that faced an emperor. Granted, he lost, but bro, Brooke is dope, man. I I really like how they've been doing Brooke at the post time skip. I really I want I want to see stuff like from other characters. Like I wish Robin like would show like you know armament hockey or something just to defend herself. Like that would be especially because she summons hands and like limbs. How OP would that be if she had like armament hockey? You know what I mean? Just a fucking, well, they're, they're by. She just freaking stopped on a giant sumo slapped them. And just like that, Brooke took out the entire Oniwabanshu. <laughs> Who the hell? Wrapped a chain or Oh, ooh, Shinobu cutting chain with her sword. Oh, yeah, she was. Yo. Holy shit. She was. Bad back in the day. Something about that look, bro. Time is a dangerous mistress, you know what I mean? Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Well, time, 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 time. She freaking, she stunned him so hard because of her appearance that his balls got so hurt, it physically hurt him. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Jesus. He's about to cut. Nah, I don't. What do you? What do you cut? Nah, I think he's gonna cut the shit out of his head. I forgot. Oh, never mind, bro. I forgot how tall he is. Crazy how Komodosaki is so revered by by everyone that like, like in her reputation, everyone's aside from Orochi is like, yo, stop him from killing her. Like, you know, like stop. Someone save her. Ooh, whoa, Kyoshiro, what? Okay, uh, whoo, whoo, okay. I thought that was the end of the episode. I was like, no way. 
the fuck? Because <laughs> like it was, it was like the perfect you know transition, like slice and then boom to be continued. Wait, whoa, who's animating? Who's animating? Wait. Wait, the thing flew out. Wait, wait, where did that come from? We gotta get a re. Bro, wait, wait till the scene plays out. Holy shit, this scene was amazing. Oh, and the blood on his face. Okay. We're running that back. That was gorgeous. Bear with me, but you, you guys won't mind, right? You guys won't mind going back a second or two. Bro. The framing. The way it's like the colors were co like composition and like in structured. The, like the impact, the, the feel, the sound. Bro. Toei. Mind you, again, this scene happened in the manga, and it was like, it was like quick. Like, it was just like basically this frame right here where she has like the blood coming off. I believe that was it. After Kyoshi like started. And then that was the end of the scene. But like adding the Sakura, like the, the chair. And then see, the freaking thing came out. I think it came out of her. The, uh, where the samurai message. Beautiful scene. Let me fanboy out. I, I love when, when they take the extra like leap like this and mess with colors and stuff. It, it's just beautiful. You gotta love how everyone shows how much of a samurai they are and Orochi is just a complete waste of space. Y'all think Big Mom's ever gonna get Zeus back? Like, I'm, I, I'm glad Nami has it because that's a big like weapon of hers to have like her strongest thing ever but like i kind of like them more when big mom had all these like prometheus zeus napoleon like like oh she was cool as fuck bro they just left brooke though where's brooke at bro she hit Orochi with a Zeus lightning. God damn. Well, that's... Oh my god, seeing, seeing Big Mob, like, just immediately makes me, like, anxious. <laughs> like, in... <laughs> but damn, kid escaped. Old school freaking tactic, just digging somewhere. Do not... You do not want her to... No, that is a bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea, Momo. Do, do not send her to go save Luffy. <laughs> Luffy will be dead. Bro, Chopper is gonna have a severe heart attack. Oh no, her like eating disorder. That's so funny to me. <laughs> Chopper's just having a rough time. <laughs> Chopper is so stressed. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine having one of the four strongest people in the entire world in front of you. And that you know how scary she is and everyone's like, and oh my god. That is so funny to see Chopper get so stressed. Jesus. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I mean, 
the the problem is it's like chopper i don't know if jo chopper explained exactly how dangerous big mom is to them and like how powerful she is or whatever and i get the idea of just sending in a loose cannon to like you know shake shit up and, and break shit so that maybe luffy could just get free but it's like eh, man i don't know because chopper like from what we've seen you know not the off-screen stuff from what we've seen chopper hasn't like explicitly said hey yeah her she is one of the four i mean i think he said the four emperors or whatever but she didn't say that like yeah she like could beat the shit out of luffy any day of the week at right now and she's extremely scary and strong and powerful more powerful than luffy so it's like you know like because they, so they can have more of a thing because they're just so granted all the time as a kid so it's like whatever but like and momo but like they have like no like concept it's like funny it's like just I don't know, man. I, I always liked this part of the manga because it was like it was just like a weird. I don't know. It's a weird like reprieve of everything that's happening. Like Luffy got his ass beat. He got sent to jail. Sanji's fighting Page One. Uh, the Orochi Bank we got disastrous. And like there's a lot of like serious shit going on. And then you got this like really sweet weird side plot happening with Big Mom losing her memory and like it's really kind of cute in a way and like a effed up wave especially for chopper but I, I always like this part it was really like a nice like reprieve uh but i think some epic i think from marmor currently some epic shit is about to happen soon uh man i i was about to say that the episode pacing was really slow at the beginning because like it was five minutes into the into like the title card so then it was that was quite a while so there's only 15 minutes of episode this week so with all that being said uh, it's pretty good decent pacing with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my sure you guys will like comment subscribe and share the video if you enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys